It was it's very interesting. I had a shaman at one time and I walked into his office. I never met him. It was literally his home. And I walked into his, um, we had a couch and he goes, holy shit, you're so protected. And I'm like, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. He just says, you have so many behind you like that are protecting you. Yeah. But I don't understand that. Is it like my, my selves? Is it, is it your ancestors? Is it others? And who asked them to come protect anyone? Like, what is that? So with all the conversations we've had in the past, you have a lot of beings that know you from your past lives that you've met. And we did some sessions where you got a chance to talk to them and they just simply like you like, Hey, it's like, you know, we connect, we like each other. We have a good vibe together. We help each other in a lot of ways. And it's like, you know, I'm here for you whenever you need, you're here for me whenever I need you. And a lot of beings before we ever came here were like, Hey, Patricia, like we love you. We're here for you. You're on earth. They don't have to stand with you 24 seven. But at any time you need help or you need someone to guard you, they're there. So their presence is like anytime they can teleport, be close to you. And, you know, the shaman, when he looks at you and sees the energy and like, wow, you're so protected, like the energy is immense. Uh, I had this feeling like, let's say we're walking on a street in the middle of the night and there can be people and there's zero fear because there's just that so much presence that like things are fine. Like no one can attack me. I'm infinite. And there's that feeling you have them, you have it with you because there's so many beings constantly like, you know, like watching over you and it's people you have met in your past lives, your family, you know, spirit guides, other things you have in your space and as well as your other aspects, you have it all. Like you can contact them at any time and, you know, they're just there. Yeah. They're just there. And we don't really know about it, but when somebody says, Ooh, you're so protected. The, the, the realization is that tiny little spark of, oh, I am? That's why I feel confident, right? Okay. That's very interesting. And at any time, you can actually, you know, go and tune into one of them and, and explore, see who they are, who's around you, why are they here for you, kind of like find out the story and what connects you all. Mm hmm that's very interesting because I, um, you know how the, the telephone poles, the electricity poles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I literally sat with intention that something's gonna happen right now, mm -hmm. almost like calling that, right? Like yeah. that, that's something to happen. And I was just in a very calm moment, just putting out my energy, opening it up. And I looked at the telephone pole and there was a purple, huge purple bean on it. I was like, whoa. I mean, you couldn't, I couldn't see it, but I could feel that there was a gigantic, you know, purple mm -hmm. person. I was like, wow. And then the cloud was like a gigantic ship. And it was just kind of just sitting there. And I'm like, well, does anybody see that? No, I'm the <laughs> That's so crazy. There he is right there. <laughs> That's the playing, right? That's right. like, don't forget to play. Like, you can play with these things. They're not going to hurt you. Because it didn't attack me. It was kind of like, hey, how you doing? How you Pretty doing? Much. Right? Yeah, we can actually go back to that moment, see who that being was, maybe explore yeah. the ship. So again, you can Ooh. sort of like take your time to relax, get in that like good state. And once you're ready, sort of return to that moment where you know you had intention, you saw this purple being, and you can sort of go get close to him and ask, like, hey, who are you? Sort of like find out more about it. So so interesting i do these things with you but i get it's kind of like no 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 you don't want to do this by yourself why not it's almost like holding the space 
with the same elevated <clears throat> knowledge person that can crack open your insecurities. Let's mm -hmm. call it that. One thing you can do before you have a conversation, at the moment you got that no, 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 take your time and again, connect to this part of yourself that was like super loving and caressing the planet. And any guardians, any be beings protecting you, you can sort of just connect their energy, maybe ask to be protected sort of so that they would be, you know, ready to help you out if anything. And just that presence where, hey, I'm not alone and I'm powerful and try to have a conversation again, see what happens. Um, my visuals are coming in and <clears throat> um, I kind of see a satellite and I see a square just out in, it's a square box mm -hmm. turning. It's, that's interesting. Why the heck would that be here? So it's kind of fuzzy, but I'm looking at the galaxy. And is this a ship? It's a no, but it's a square box that's just there. Floating. Is there any life? Let me see, is there any life? Oh, and it has like all of a sudden it threw off this corkscrew energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, show me what is in this box. Um, there's a, sh there's like this triangle ship that, holy shit, the box just took off. <laughs> <laughs> Think of um, rewinding time. So that the box comes back, you're back in the same moment. Uh -huh. And one thing you can do is create, like, let's say you have a phone or some sort of device that as you look at that box, that device will show you all information about it. It can be like a little AI or your own consciousness that knows it all. And it's as if you're scanning the box and it's going to tell you the origins of the box, what is it, what's inside, sort of like give you the little history about it. See if that can happen. I heard right away, alien technology. There we go. Alien technology. Okay. So, ah, there's this little black dot here again. I just hear the boxes from far, far, far away. And it looked like there was a sperm. Like now there's two sperms. Uh, and there is somebody with a garb and a, and a one of those looks like a gray. Mm -hmm. And it has like this collar like this. So I'm just viewing it. And it's now there's one, two, three there. It's almost like showing me now they're sitting around a ball. Maybe they're in conference. Mm -hmm. They are traveling. Resources or energy. I don't know if I should say resources or energy for food. Okay. But this is, I don't know if this is fake, like, because it's only telling me what I know with what. what so this is this is all you know. Tell me it's more. okay. You can even like ask like what might be some reason you're here, what are you doing here? Sort of just like 
questions that would be of your interest and that would help you reveal more information about it. It says uh, exploration. It is an observatory for exploration of the unknown. Scientific exploration. Data collecting. Meaning no harm. So if that data is just, let's say, planet Earth, the Milky Way, or something about humanity, like what kind of data are you looking for? It says all humans are nothing. Like, we don't care about them. Been there, done that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh -huh. Really? Like, they're like, eh, those are, that's a ball of problems. <laughs> <laughs> We're offended. <laughs> Been there, done that. I'm like, am I fucking, like, because I just feel the information. That's good. That's good. That's the way it goes. Uh, a lot of beings you know, when they're accessing the information, they're either going to have conversations with beings, they can hear things out loud. What you have, your ability is to download that knowledge. It's like, it just comes to you and you know it all. And that's amazing. It's really good ability. Thank you. I appreciate it. I feel like I'm such a baby. I keep saying that, like, I'm just learning. Like every step I take is a new opening. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm a 50 year old woman and I'm like, I don't know anything. You know what I mean? I don't even know what I am. I don't know, you know, like I have my friend Debbie Solaris that she's like, you are an Arcturian. Like, okay, I'm an Arcturian. Yeah, but I'm me. Like, I'm myself, you know, I'm, and she's like, well, you were a Stargate keeper. You can do everything. I'm like, okay, fine. But uh, the point of it is learning how to clear yourself, mm -hmm. learning how to learn, want to learn, right? Yeah, that's the thing. Wow. Yeah. What if I would do if it's off your interest? Uh, you can go back to, and get on their ship. You know, they're exploring here, collecting data and all. And you can do the same thing. You know, I mean, no harm. And if you're okay with it, I'm just going to enter your ship, look around. And you can see if there are any beings in there. Say hello to everyone. But just to sort of explore yourself, see what you find. Um, right away, like, I see a big white screen. And I see, it looks like shadows. Mm -hmm. Shadows. Um, and then there's now there's a beam and I'm asking, is it okay if I can enter? I mean, no harm. I just want to look around. So the door opens, something opens and there's this long hallway. What does it look like? Um, it has no walls. And it's it just there's people in front mm -hmm. so there's oh there is a wall here but there's like a lot of people just yeah. a lot a lot a lot of people and there's yeah. this mm -hmm. yeah not, not the people you see are the human or is it different races like what do you look like it's just black bodies um, show me what one looks like. So one came up and turned into a ball. Like one popped up. Can I please see what, what you look like? Uh, I just get they're busy. They're busy working. All right. Yeah. We can uh, not interfere them and just continue exploring the ship. Yeah. Just no worries. So this ship is for exploration purposes only. Mm -hmm. 
we mean no harm. I mean no harm. You not understanding your visuals will confuse you. So I see this thing like this, and then there's a black ball. Mm -hmm. Show me more. The depths within the ship have no visuals. Uh, it's basically you don't understand what you're seeing. Uh, and there's something that goes like this, but it's all, it's like these lights that go like this, like that. Yeah. It's okay. So now as you see this thing, and even though, you know, whatever they say with your, you know, not understanding the visuals, that's fine. With your consciousness, you can give yourself a command, help me understand what this is, sort of explain me what this is, kind of like, give yourself a command so that you would have more knowledge about this without really having to see everything. Or you can also ask one of these beings, whatever feels better. Uh, help me understand what I'm saying. It's hard. It's, it's, oh, I saw a being with a, oh, I saw like this being with a long head in the back like this. Mm -hmm. And that brought me back to, there's a robot that has a face like this that I was, so are there any robots in here? Oh, it almost like looks like E like E T. What's it called? E T. What's it called? That that little dunk, 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 dunk. Yeah, you know. E T, right? Yeah. It looked like it was an E T in there. But this it's more, it's different. It's very different. I can actually I got a glimpse of like these big eyes. Oh, it's very interesting. It's got a really tiny nose, very small. It has a chin. It's showing me the side. Uh, almost like ants in there too. Be okay. Long. It just said, be afraid. No, this is great. Thank you for showing me. And I hear you're welcome. Oh, they're nice. <laughs> feel it. Like I literally feel the information here. Because it wants me to say you're welcome. Uh, and then it's just you're always welcome here, if you like. Thank you for visiting. Is there anything else you want to know? Oh, interesting. Thank you for letting me in. You can again ask if it's of your interest, you know, is there anything that you need to follow, like need to know? Or if you have any questions for them, you can ask them too. Um, what do you need to know? Um, do you guys have male and female here? I said, no. <laughs> All androgynous beings work in this station. It just said like monogamy. Mm -hmm. um, there is much work, no time to play here. <laughs> We work for the collective. We siphon and harbor plasma for transportation. Do 
this is our job. We okay. work. We work for them. For them being who? And it said Anunnaki. Okay. We are created by them. They are our creators. And when were you born? When did this start? The time of evolution. There are many of us in these realms. We keep the balance. No, you don't. What kind of balance is needed here? Energy balance. There's much to harvest in these realms. Free for all. I asked them what so, do they do with all the plasma and everything they're gathering? To work our machines. Okay, machines. Uh, that's an earthly name. Structures, they would say. To activate our structures to create life. Synthetic life. Okay. Now I got curious, uh, are they using like our energy plasma, let's say, and anything from here to create those structures or are they creating and helping Anagis to create it? Like how does that work? Um, it says it's almost like going fishing. They're going fishing. We collect, we bring back, we deposit and we go back out. That is what we do. Okay. And how are they collecting? Like, are they using certain technologies, direct energy weapons, things like that? Like, how does the collecting and fishing happen? So there was a, a very bony, like a very bony skull-faced mm -hmm. alien that just, like, appeared. Um, how are you collecting this energy? Our structure collects this, it said sound, but say again, I don't understand. How do you collect vibration? Oh, it's almost like they vibrate and then they find it and then vacuum it in. Yeah. So the box emanates vibration and then it shows where it is in the galaxy and then they suck it in. Interesting. Now let's see, which Anunnaki are they connected to? Like just Anunnaki or are there anyone specific like Marduk, Enki and Lil, one of them or like who's their daddy, so to speak? Marduk is one. That stands out. Oh, sorry, I have to be more stronger because my little me is going, who's my duke? What does he look like? I don't even know. Who's my duke? <laughs> I <coughs> what are you talking about? I don't know my duke. Uh, mm. uh, it just says you should know him. He's been in your society. He is a champion. He is our champion. Our society blends well. We have no struggle like you do. Okay. Now ask like, what is Marduk planning to do with all its energy and technology? It feeds life. It. So I'm seeing faces, alien faces right now. Mm -hmm. Just saying hello, thank you for speaking with me. I appreciate it. I'm not here to hurt, I'm only here to 
so my whole my tele- telepathy is just saying I'm only here to communicate and to understand with no fear and I'm seeing a lot of faces coming in and then mm-hmm. they're going out so like they're there and then they go out and there's another one that comes in and goes out um, yeah. Is that what happens? They kind of, it's almost like they're there and then they go, they pull. Yeah, they will appear to you. Like you're in yeah. their presence and they're going to like, hi, you know, like show up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, this is our collective, the collective. Oh, I almost got the feeling of the Borg. Mm-hmm. We are the Borg. Interesting. Are you, oh, and there was an A. I don't know what that, what is the A for? What was that showing me? And I got A for apple. Oh, so I guess like the teacher gets an apple. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So do you guys come near our galaxy? No. We are not near you. We are on the outskirts of you. Do you come in this area at all? Yes and no. There's no need. We've exhausted you. Oh. (laughs) Sounds about right. There's nothing to gain to be there with you. So, uh, do you guys have t- a timeline? No. We are on journeys to collect and do our duties. Okay. Do you guys eat? So it's yes and no. We are amply sustained for our journeys. Oh, that's kind of (laughs) cool. Like, oh, interesting. I'm I'm just looking at the galaxy, like literally. Thank you. I just hear you are very welcome. <laughs> it's nice. Now you can ask uh, if there's anything humanity should know. What would say if you were to talk to them and give a message from them to humanity? Is there anything you know we should be, know? It just says be aware. You will go far if you are aware. So be aware. Mm -hmm. Is there anything specific we should be aware of? The eternal light. Interesting. So that's, I feel like this is my higher selves. Mm -hmm. Like, or whoever, me. Be aware of the eternal light. And what is that eternal life from your perspective? I'm sorry if I'm interrupting. No, go ahead. Yeah. What is the eternal light from your perspective? We don't have that. We are synthetic. We are workers. We so I got, we love our job. We honor our pursuers. We are here to perform our duties. You are different. You have the knowing and you are travelers like us. You travel in circles. 
your circles hold great strengths. Realization and awakening is your earthly duties, like our duties, your duties are being mischiefed. We don't like you. <laughs> We don't need you. We stay away as far as possible because we do not want to interfere with your shenanigans. You have a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's <laughs> good. Now, was there anything else you want to ask them before we leave their space? No. Very good. You. All right. Yeah, we can thank them. Spray a little, a little bit of love over there if you want to, and you can leave their space. Wow. They just literally gave me a black heart, and now <laughs> I see. Wow. How can they do that? Is it because, like, I require that? I always say, when I speak with you, I always need to know if there's any love here, because for me, if there's any love, then there's a better chance to confront and organize a communication. I guess that's what I want. Mm -hmm. You can ask them, why did they show you the black heart? Why did they show me that? Why did you, why did you show me that? Oh, it's almost like we must go and Well, I just, I get like the black of heart is what you require for communication, which is true. Oh, so right. <laughs> wow. How did that go? Mm -hmm. It felt good. It felt like, like a little bit. And then I was seeing, like, I still see the heart in front of me, which is pretty cool. Sorry, it's yeah. really bright. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's okay. Take your time. And then it's like, holy shit, was that real? Did I make this whole thing? No, no. Everything you're experiencing out there is real. It's all real. That. So once again, it's just realizing, because why would I even say anything like that? Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah. You could have come up with a better story if you were imagining it. Come on, like, what kind of answers are those? <laughs> I know, right? Put something scary, like they're harvesting humanity and trying to harm us or something. Like, you didn't do that. Like, you just got straight up answers and there it is. Ooh. Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. But there's a cube out there. It really is. Yeah. It was like a black... <laughs> where have you seen this like a lot of people actually say you know like in their dreams they see a lot of these black cubes they're sometimes massive like you know just a whole base or football field or anything so yeah a lot of people yeah. people experience this like it's cool it's cool like, and of course they're all gonna have their you know different themes or something different meanings to it all but you saw one you saw inside it and it was like you know who's connected to it there's a lot of black the shadow beings are in there but there's no light inside them. Like, I guess I was looking to see if there was any lights or anything like that. Sometimes, you know, like our frequencies don't really match. So when you get into their space, it's kind of like looking through the filter where you're high and they're on different frequencies. So you're going to see part of them like they're there, but you don't yeah. really see them because you don't meet on the same frequencies, so to speak. They did have like a... a a halo of white around mm -hmm. them, but they were all black within. So maybe that resonates the energy on top that they still function. Like yeah. they need to operate. So they need something to, maybe that's the energy on top of the body like that. Right? Yeah. Like not all of these beings are bad. 
but as you scan the energy, like if they're good, they're not going to be wanting to leave your space. If you look at them, like there's a lot of beings that like, just like wish you good. And they're just there. Like, let's say the black box and those that are just, you know, gathering data, like they don't want to mess with you. They're like, Oh, we're just doing our stuff to do, do, do. They don't care if you're there or not. They don't care if you look at them and like, what the hell? Or, like you have your own like fears or like, you know, your own feelings. They don't care. They're busy, but other yeah. beings, they're like, Oh shit, I've been seen. I better leave this space. Like, yeah, no, like, you're, you're like, why would you do that? So all of a sudden, like, you're like, hey, what, what was your intention? Like, why were you here? Like, they're definitely okay. not shy. <laughs> yeah, they're, it's like these little fuckeries. They're just <laughs> fuckeries. They're called fuckeries. <laughs> I, thought, I can't get another word for it. It's a fuckery. Yeah. Because they're, they're jokers. Yeah, pretty much. Teasing you, poking you, bullying you one way or the other, but you know, like it's definitely not like, hi, I'm just gonna play around or like watch you and like, yeah. that. It's very interesting. And the 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 <clears throat> the planets are you know, they say that like the planets have their own, like their conscious beings as well. What do you think about these planets? like totally you as a consciousness can have a human body or incarnate and become a planet and the feeling state of being a planet is freaking amazing because the way let's say we have all of our organs and you can feel your energy in your body or even the blood cells move around or anything else well being a planet you feel everything inside out so anyone on the surface living there all the beings and you consciously know them all feel them all and everything else but also what's within you like it's just amazing and then from planet being a star being a like galaxy as above so below and all the parts you can sort of be aware of and access is just crazy amazing wow yeah it's almost like having all of your senses and open right like knowing exactly what this is doing and this is doing just like our fingers. Like we, we can move. So this would be our eyes, our senses right. that we can do this. Right. Yeah. So I get. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> so as we did this like few explorations, like, you know, you being like the wonderful big being caressing the planet and also exploring these little aliens who are doing their own research, like synthetic beings, I should say, like, was there yeah. anything important and meaningful to you? Yeah, realizing that that popped up and I saw it in the galaxy, that the information flowed really easily. And there was no, it was like an open channel. There was, there was actually no fear. Yeah. And there was, um, it was, it was comfortable. Mm. Yeah. Cause I've always wanted to do remote viewing. Right. I really want to do remote viewing, but I, I'm like, I'll do it later. I'll do it tomorrow. It's kind of like, I got to start learning cause I'm fascinated with farsight and how they're like, it's so fascinating to me like i don't understand how people can't see this you know like it's it's i think it's very necessary and i didn't even want to it's almost like your consciousness is like a dog like, yeah. <laughs> go ahead but i always think it's the allowing and the realization then it's there's, there's a process like you're here, but you're going to be here if you know that you can do it, Like that's allowed. There's no rules. Like you can do it. And then it makes you stronger. Right. Totally does. Yeah. And that like, for me to, for you, I don't know, like I stumbled upon your, your video and then I started watching it. And when you said one time, never be afraid, it was like a light bulb turned on and I could just see myself going, <sighs> like my whole, like, <sighs> like, <sighs> like I just shed tons and tons of 
bullshit. It like I love your information. I love how you give freedom when you don't even know it. Your your explanation of is so fucking powerful that um it's so easy for you, right? You're like it just comes. And that's the beauty of the natural allowance that that comes to you. Like you are you. You're you, you're your pure you. And others are like, (laughs) pretty much. For me, like the most amazing part is that like, you know, hey, everybody can do this. And if we just find time to sit down and look at things, like right now, we just had a little practice. You did everything. I was just like, yeah. well, ask just this question or what's going to happen next. Like, you know, like, I'm just curious about what you're seeing and everything like can access and share. It's like, you're doing the same thing. Mm. You just, you need to trust yourself that like everything you're experiencing is true. Like it is happening for real. And then all these explorations, you will find and understand way more. Like, I really read read books because I get stuff from out there and same for you. Like you just like now got to understand more of some of these synthetic beings out there, how they work with energy, how to connect to Marduk and like, that's like your story. That's what you found out from this tiny little bit. 